So, tell me what brings you here today. Well, I wasn't uh, too sure if I should have even uh, called you today, but it's it's just been so uh, overwhelming recently. Okay, Jim. What's been overwhelming you? Uh, there was uh, <clears throat> an incident uh, a couple of weeks ago. It's um, it's really been uh, affecting me. Our hero scans his wounds from the previous night. Ah, oh, what happened last night? Yelled the protagonist as he tries to recall the previous night. What did you make me do this time? No, seriously, what did you make me do? He asked himself, trying to arrange the puzzle of that night. No. It was only supposed to be a couple of drinks of friends! Though injured, he feels content with himself and the good deeds he did to protect those who needed help. I don't feel content! I feel pain! What did you... What did you make me do this time? Did you ever find out what happened the night before? Um, no. Uh, he doesn't respond to me. Have you had any interactions as bad as that one recently? Nothing, nothing as bad as that. But there, there was this uh, one, this one incident, uh, which just when I was uh, when I was out uh, having something to uh, to eat. Could you expand on this incident? As our hero rests. There's so, so many things to choose, just pick something. Why do you never listen to me? What do you want? What do you want, for, what do you want to eat? He witnesses a man attacking and assaulting a woman. No, it's nothing like that. It's just a lover's tip. Our hero gets ready for a fight and prepares himself to defend him. No, it's not like that. That is not what is happening. It's just, it's just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit here I'm going to order my food, then I'm going to eat it, and then I'm going to go. And, and that's it. That's all that's happening. Okay? Well, Jim, from what you've told me, and from how I understand it, you're suffering from an internal voice that pushes you to do things you wouldn't normally do or outside of how you act usually as a person. It doesn't seem that you're a threat to yourself or anyone around you, and under normal circumstances, I would recommend a run of therapy. Unfortunately, due to budget concerns, I can't offer such a service. I do, however, know a number of therapists and psychiatrists who would jump at the chance to analyse you. That would, unfortunately, though, come at significant financial cost. For now, all I can offer you is a uh, prescription to an experimental programme. Although the drugs will come with some unfortunate side effects, maybe. Look, I can't afford... I can't afford therapy, so I'll just, I'll just take whatever you're prescribing to me. I don't care what the side effects may be, I just need to get rid of the voice, okay? sure about this? I was there for you when no one else was. <sighs> now what are you going to do? Everyone has left you. But don't worry, we may feel like a loser now but I'll make you the hero of this story. Don't do this. 
You need me. Stop. Stop! I won't let you do this.